Well, I mean, uh, I don't see Kuwait as a, a tourism country as to start with. I mean, Kuwait should uh, increase uh, uh, some fun places for the Kuwaiti people and the expats, uh, but not for the sake of uh, uh, encouraging people from outside Kuwait to come to Kuwait, because, you know, Kuwait is, is a, a kind of a, a business-oriented country that would uh, grant people visa to work. Uh, but if they op open Kuwait for the tourism, it will be uh, another issue. So I think Kuwait lacks some uh, uh, projects, some vital uh, fun places for the public. Educational, fun learning, edutaining, interactive uh, exhibits, for example. That we are focusing uh, on. So I think uh, Kuwait uh, really, uh, if, you, if, you, if you are with, with your family, where to go? Or with your friends, where to go? Shop a mall? That's not a tourism. Now ask the young or ask the family, where to go tonight? Let's go to dine out or to go to the mall. Let's go to the scientific center. Let's go to some few places. So we need to increase those projects. And I think the private sector should contribute in this field. Exactly, but uh, the problem is the hurdles uh, the private sector face when they deal with government agencies. Uh, the permits, the, uh, you know, the bureaucracy, the big circle that they have to go around until they get the permit for their <laughs> facility or institution. So Kuwait invest investors in the past three decades or four decades or fifth, maybe five decades, they tend to invest outside Kuwait. Okay, so why they don't invest inside Kuwait? Because of the hurdles and the dif difficulties they face dealing with, with government agencies. Wow, <laughs> this is a... Uh, I mean, this is the fact. I mean, uh, I know I've been uh, very frank with uh, with the situation. Probably some people do not uh, say that, but uh, this is this is the real uh, situation.